Now I decided to add an LCD screen to uh, one of the outputs to just get readings, to send messages. Right now I set up a little program that the micro bit has a temperature uh, gauge in it, a thermistor, I think. Um, so I'm just having it display uh, the temperature. I'm also having it display the temperature on the micro bit just to make sure things are you know going right. Um, as you can see, the temperature in the micro bit is 24. One thing I don't like about that 5x5 array is reading one number one letter at a time. I just find that a pain. So here is the sensor reading. Um, saying it's 24, the micro bit says it's 24. That's Celsius in my house. Uh, so for whatever it's worth, that's what it is. Um, easy hookup. If you look on the back, that's where the plugs are and they actually say ground VCC SDA SCL. Um, so there's only one place to hook those up and that's the Grove connector here, which amazingly enough says SCL, SDA, plus five volt and ground. So only one place to do. So if you wanna hook one of these up, you, you do have to have a um, Grove connector with four pins uh, because that SDA SCL is, is pretty specific. Um, it's an I squared C um, kind of communication hookup and those are pin 19 and 20 on the micro bit so I'm guessing if these are wired to pin 19 and 20 in the micro bit because that's what they say uh, they are they should be at on, on there and there's nowhere else on the, the maker bit that has pin 19 and 20 those are pretty designated uh, for that uh, this does want 5 volts so it's good that that gives 5 volts um, it's pretty simple and straightforward to plug into. There's only one place to plug it into. You just have to have that connector, uh, which has the, you know, the white ends. Uh, I don't have a loose one here. Uh, let me show you the code. Um, so again, you have to add the maker bit extension to um, the micro bit, uh, the make code. And then on start, I connected it at I, I, I squared C, I2C, address 39. I actually didn't have to do that the first time I was playing with it, but it's probably good practice to make sure it's connected at the right uh, address. And then I just uh, made a variable called temp. And I went into the input uh, box in the make code and grabbed temperature. And I set temp to temperature. And then I asked it to show temp, and that's going to be across the uh, 5x5 array. And then the green blocks are show the LCD screen. And I had it write a, a string, temperature is. What you can't see is, again, there, there's two rows of uh, characters. And it's going to go 0 to 15 for the top row and 16 to 31 for the second row. So I told it basically put temperature is in the top row and show on the LCD the number temp uh, from 16 to 31. I could have only picked like from 16 to 17 because it's only it's gonna be a two digit number at most. I could have done that and then had some more characters left over to um, write about. Uh, like for example, uh, you could like throw in an if statement. Um, if temp is below uh, something, uh, show on the LCD a string set burr kind of idea just silly things like that you know um, but that's what you get you get two trying to find the right angle because that back light so you see the blocks there so it's telling you uh, you know there's 16 by 2 now these are not expensive they I check out on Amazon they're like between 5 and um, 10 11 dollars so pretty simple and pretty simple hookup as long as you've got that little block right there that I2C with the Grove port um, or just the I2C hookup again you can hook that up to like pin 1920 kind of thing it tells you which one's the SDA which one's the SCL the problem on hooking it on the micro bit is this needs 5 volts and the micro bit doesn't have 5 volts this has 5 volts because we are powering it with ta -da, 9 so it's doing some voltage regulation to get 5 there 
which means I could use four AA batteries and start with six volts, and it would get five to there, or six AA batteries. So there's different ways. Again, there's a barrel connector. So let's hook it up with a nice little LCD screen.